What is up everybody? It is Wick here and I'm inside of a rummage sale. Just got inside. I'm the first one in. I'm the only one in here. Of course, there's people working the sale, belong to the church. Anyone you see, they're just working because I was here about 30 minutes, maybe up to close to 40 minutes and not one other person showed up. And this is not normal. I want to make that clear. Um, <laughs> I, I was at a sale earlier in the year like this and uh, I was the only one there for like 10 minutes, which again is very rare. And yeah, it just, it should not have happened. I don't know where everyone was. Uh, <laughs> I, I, maybe there's a better sale going on, but usually I go to these rubbish sales and you know, even small ones, there's 20, 30, sometimes up to 50 people standing and waiting to get inside. So obviously they didn't advertise this that well, I guess. I don't know what's going on, but you know what? I'm in here and they keep telling me there's more stuff back here. Come back here, there's more stuff. So I come back here, I see all these toys and board games and stuff. And you know, that's what I wanna see really is that kind of stuff. I like buying it. Uh, there's a lot of potential for really high dollar items. So I come over here to these board games and I immediately see something <laughs> very valuable sticking out here, this Talisman board game. and. For someone like me who knows a decent amount about board games because I play them or at least used to when I had friends around to play them, I know that one is a, a rare one. And I'm thinking that could be three, four hundred dollar board game. And um, yeah, it is a few hundred dollars. Well, more like a couple hundred dollars, but still, I only paid a dollar for it. So I was very happy to see that. And I got a lot of this Imaginex stuff sitting around here. And uh, I'm looking for the figures in these bags. I'm wondering if there's figures in there. I don't see any in these bags. They got like decks of cards and just weird things in these bags. But I really don't want to buy the sets of the Imaginex because they're just big and usually not worth it. I don't think there's any valuable ones there. But I see the figures here and they're $2 for all of them. Accessories. So I buy that. I can sell that. Make some pretty good profit. You got other toys around here. Uh, I'm not seeing anything super valuable. Check in the bags. And in my mind, you know, I'm thinking, oh, there's a bunch of people in here now probably shopping in the other part, so I need to hurry up. Uh, again, no one ever showed up. Um, <laughs> it's just crazy. I see these cars, and I'm like, oh, some of these are old. Some of these could be good. And I notice uh, the tags there say $5, and I don't know. But editing this video, I'm thinking, was that $5 per car? Because at the time, I'm just thinking it was $5 per car. Maybe it was just $5 for a case of them, which some of those older ones probably worth picking up. If so, I did not. Um, <laughs> but I come back through here. There's books sitting around. I'm looking to see if there's any Stephen King or anything. Get back in here, and I'm like, oh, there's no one really here. So let's look and see what we can find. I see a, a VCR. It's a GE does have the remote. I think they wanted like $5 for it. I ended up just passing on it because I got so many I'm listing. It's not a good unit. Probably could sell it for like 20 bucks maybe. Uh, but I do see this ink, which is crazy. I just picked up a couple of these at a rummage sale recently. That's $55 ink sealed. So happy to have found that. And I'm, I took my time looking at this stuff and, um, Embarrassing as it is, I still missed something when I was editing this video. I don't know how. It's nothing major, right? But it just goes to show you how easy it is to miss stuff, even when you're not feeling rushed or anything. And it's the King Cutter there. At least I think it's King Cutter, the little meat grinder thing. I picked up a couple of those like in the past month. I've already sold one. I sell it for like $45. Uh, that one maybe $40. It looked like it had less attachments. Did not even notice that. And I think it has something to do with, I see that stuff all the time. I've bought it and in my mind, it's, it's just the same one sitting in my house. So I don't, it doesn't really register with me or something. I don't know what it is. Here's some filters. Of course, I ended up picking up that phone set there, which I can make some money on. Uh, I didn't pick it up in the beginning for whatever reason. I don't think I knew the prices or whatever. Here's a metal detector. Uh, it's kind of a generic one. When I got over here to the tools, I started seeing some higher prices, some individually priced items. Uh, they probably left, you know, some guide at the price of the tools and the golf clubs, which were priced $15 a piece. And at that price, I don't think there's anything that I wanted to deal with anyway. 
some rackets, lots of furniture. Some of the things they thought were valuable were priced very high, and some things were not. I picked up some dolls there in a case when I went back through. There's an old vintage like Zenith radio over here, up here, and I'm like, eh, that could be good. Eh, they wanted $50 for it. You know, it's, it probably sells for like $25, $30 on eBay, honestly. So we move on. Uh, got some great stuff in there, though. After looking through it, I'll show you everything, of course. And um, yeah, some tech tech in this Goodwill I stopped in on the way back. Don't source this Goodwill that often, but since the rummage sale was literally like three minutes away, I thought, yeah, this would be a, a good opportunity to go in here. Now, the tech deck stuff I ended up putting back. It wasn't sealed, so uh, not worth picking up like that. Plus, the price was high. And this Bible trivia game was priced high, but it was in very good condition. And I sell them on Amazon. I'll get a little bit of money. So at, with that condition, I ended up picking that up. Uh, and what else can we find in this Goodwill to make the day even better? And just checking out all these little knickknacks and things. And check out my cart, though. I got some, well, I'll probably give you a better view here in a moment. Uh, I got some good stuff in there. But if you are enjoying the video, please hit that like button for me. It really does help the video out. And I do appreciate you watching. I don't see anything else in this aisle. But, yeah, I got the tech deck stuff in there, which I did put back. Some sealed media, some vintage board games, a really cool Star Wars game from 81. Got that as well, and ended up doing pretty good um, in this Goodwill. And there was no one in this Goodwill either. This is a very big Goodwill. That's rare. I know a lot of people meme on me about no one being in my Goodwill. There's people in my Goodwills. Um, I just only record when there's no one in the aisle because I'm not trying to just record random people, right? Um, if I can help it. Uh, so... Yeah, I just wait until the aisles are clear, pull out my camera. That's why you see me with stuff in my cart sometimes that I, I, you know, you don't see me pick it up on the shelf because maybe there's a lot of people in the aisle. There was some Todd McFarlane sports figures over there, hockey. I looked them up. They were priced $10. I didn't think they'd be worth it because usually that stuff isn't. Actually, could have sold those for like $40 new. However, those, those are just too beat up. I left them. Down there is a stir crazy. Popcorn Popper, I've mentioned those, though that one is a newer one. It's not vintage. The vintage ones, certain models, are the only ones people are looking for. Apparently they changed them, and people just want the old, the old ones, right? So they'll pay up for them. Uh, plus they're good to part out, it looks like. Um, what else we got here in this aisle of junk and miscellaneous? Uh, I don't see anything particular. Some sort of... I don't know what that is. It looks like a picnic kit or something. I'm not sure. Oh, I do have some stuff in my cart from this Goodwill. I got some Merrill shoes, electronic battleship, and uh, well, I'm not sure what else I had in there. Um, <laughs> here at this Goodwill, though, I have one of these nail dryer things. I picked one of these up at a rummage sale or a garage sale recently and sold it for $15. Passed on that one, though. They're not worth a whole lot. Check these out. These are some Kiss boots. Um... The comps were looking pretty good on there, um, <laughs> on eBay. So I ended up buying them, but unfortunately they were priced high. Uh, $40 is what I paid for those, but uh, definitely some profit in them. So I decided to pick them up and uh, otherwise I would not pay $40 for them. Uh, not as much as I thought though, when I was buying them, I thought I was going to be able to sell them for like $250. Uh, but then I started seeing some selling for like $150. Uh, at this Goodwill, checking the shoes, I see some decent Merrill shoes. I'm like, hey, these are ready to list, not marked up, $5. Here's some Adidas shoes, which look okay, but they're nothing, you know, special. So selling them on eBay is not great. See these boots that look interesting. And uh, then I see, well, I look in here and I'm like, what brand is this? They don't look that great. And I see Birkenstock and I'm like, what? <laughs> Birkenstock boots? And, uh... Not marked up, $5, and I, I sold those very quickly for $115. So those have already sold. I got some Nike. Look at these Adidas again, just to make sure I don't want them. I think I'm checking the size to see if maybe they fit me. But yeah, I do end up passing on those. Try not to buy too many shoes that are going to be long tail like that. Here's this makeup case. I thought it could be a vintage Caboodles. 
but no, I don't know what it was. Honestly, maybe it was. I don't know. I did find one recently. That was a newer one. Uh, the newer ones don't sell for near as much. I don't think that was the one that was at another Goodwill. I was just casually driving around here. Got my Birkenstock boots in the cart with me. And uh, lo looking at the bags, handbags, and just by glancing, I don't know what to look for. I'm just hoping to see like a coach bag or you know something I recognize as being possibly valuable. But I get bored pretty quick with the purses. <laughs> uh, just... I don't want to go through each one of them, and I know there's a lot of women that come in here every morning the same time I do to look for purses. Probably nothing good there. Check in the bags also. Book bags can be really good, but I'm happy with my finds um, at the Goodwill and the rummage sale. Quite a big holiday. I even went to another rummage sale, which I don't have any footage for because it was terrible, but let me show you what I found. It is that time once again. I'm going to show you what I found at the rummage sale, doing some thrifting also. Let's just knock these shoes and boots out of the way. We'll start with these monstrosities. These are KISS platform shoes. I got these at Goodwill and I did pay up for them. Paid $40 for them. But from what I was seeing online, that's a fair price, I guess. This particular style, I did not see a whole lot for, but I think I saw one sell on auction for around $140, $150. And then there's a pair listed in Canada for $400. $150. I saw some similar KISS shoes like this or boots that sold for $200, $300, all the way up to $800. I mean, in the thousands, right, if there's certain ones. In the end, I am going to shoot for $100 profit on those. Halloween's coming up, so I should be able to move them and make some money. Here's a pair of Merrill shoes I picked up at Goodwill for $5, and they're in good condition, which again is why I bought these. If they had flaws on them, I probably would have left them. Um, I'll make at least $15 profit on those. And here's another pair of Merrill shoes I picked up at a Goodwill for $5. And these are also, again, really clean. Seems like this pair I was able to sell for about $30 plus shipping. They're in quite good condition. I won't have to do any extra cleaning on them. Saves me a lot of time. And here's some Keen sandals. And I've found this color before, I think a couple times. And I know they sell good. Sell-through rate is great. And I should be able to sell these for $40. I think that's about what I've sold the others for. Good thing about these also, they came from a Goodwill where they pick shoes and price them extremely high these made it to the shelf they didn't price them up and uh the person who charged me for them gave me the sandal price which i believe is 2.99 so i didn't even have to pay five dollars for them pure definition of something slipping through the cracks and these boots here are exciting i saw these i didn't think they were going to be anything at first until i looked inside which you're probably not going to be able to see but they are birkenstock boots not marked up i believe they say birkenstock somewhere on the side too yeah right there but i found this exact pair and uh, I, I think they sold for 150 140 150 something like that these are in great condition so i'm sure i'll be able to sell them for at least like 115 120 i have this little like speck of paint or something on there which i should be able to get off but other than that great condition then we just got a trademark pair of san antonio <laughs> shoe company shoes again these are just in amazing condition i can sell them for 25 30 dollars and they will sell i've sold dozens of these before so when you add up the shoes and the boots uh, it's gonna be some good profit for what I paid for them. So in this thing at the rummage sale, I saw it. I uh, didn't have a price. I asked the lady. She said $3 for all of them. So I figured I would give it a shot. This is a so wee baby who has some problems. <laughs> to say the least. You know, in better condition, I, I could sell that probably for $15, $20. I don't even know if it's worth selling like that. Raggedy Ann doll, this one I thought, ah, this could be good. You know, one of the older original ones. I did a Google search and I was very excited because I saw one sell for $450. However, Looking more closely is a 36 inch version. <laughs> you know, this one I, I think would sell for 15 bucks. You got some little skunk in here from the 60s. It uh, comes from Japan. Seems like I saw one sell for about 15 uh, for that. Some other doll that's missing the legs. It's not really worth anything, but you know, I make a little bit of money. I just bought it because it was cheap and I was curious on some of the prices of these. Here's this Michigan Wolverines corduroy hat. I got this at Goodwill. It was $2.99. Pretty good hat. Should we just sell it for at least $20? 
20, 25 dollars. So I'll make a little bit of money on that. Here's some blank media. I don't find a lot of this anymore. Used to pick it up all the time. Sell it on Amazon. Two ninety nine for these eight millimeter Fuji cassettes. Uh, make at least fifteen dollars on Amazon. Sell them. So pick those up for two ninety nine. Also got some Maxell cassettes here that are sealed. Uh, this one's kind of falling apart. This one's still good. I can sell it on Amazon. Paid uh, three ninety nine for this one. Five ninety nine for this one. You know, not huge money on those, but I think I'll make at least twenty five dollars profit on those and at least fifteen on those. Below it for I don't know how much I spent. I think this. <laughs> I think this color was five dollars this is a panasonic bluetooth phone set i actually just sold a panasonic bluetooth set on amazon open box for 180 dollars so i decided just to grab this one i opened it up it looks like the the phone's in there in good condition this one is not as valuable there's one person selling it used merchant fulfilled for $50. I can probably come in FBA and, and try like $79.99 or something. Still worth picking up, that's for sure. So let's check out some of these board games. This is one of those days where I got a ton of board games <laughs> and from three different sources. So it's just weird how that works sometimes. Sometimes you have big shoe days. Sometimes you have board game days. Sometimes it's just electronics is the main thing you find. Here's a Simon game. This is from 78. Picked this up for $2.99 at Goodwill. It's in a immaculate condition. Very clean inside has the paperwork has the inserts uh for the age so uh, i should be able to sell that for 30 dollars plus shipping on ebay got this classic triple e deluxe at the rummage sale paid one dollar for all the games at the rummage sale i think this was selling for like 45 dollars on amazon i don't remember it's worth picking up here's a guess who extra now 7.99 i was gonna pass on it but i decided to open it up and just check it out to see if it had all the pieces and go from there the pegs inside they're still sealed in the bag so i don't even know if it's ever been used uh, i can sell these used on amazon though for about 50 55 dollars i've already sold a couple this year even at the rummage sale i picked up this origins card game didn't know much about it i'm assuming the ff is fantasy flight games there's only one on ebay i think it was 45 dollars didn't see any comps didn't even see any in the last year on terra peak you know I, i'm sure i could sell this at some point for 30 dollars and here is well, I was going to say find of the day, but there's something else that's more valuable than this I got. Talisman, the Magical Quest game. Saw this, I was like, oh, this is good. One dollar. This actually might be new inside as well. It looks like the pieces are in um, bags. Bags as like they would send, you know, the company would put them in. So I'll have to check to see if somebody added those in bags or that's how they came. Still, you know, complete, which I'm assuming it is because it looks great inside. I should be able to sell this for at least $200. You know, I saw some with all the expansions uh, sell for around $800, you know, probably could have got 400 if it was sealed. I think there's one on Amazon used for like $777 right now. Honestly, I, I probably could put this on Amazon and price it like four or $500 used and it would sell. The problem is uh, it's Fantasy Flight which is a brand restriction on Amazon, so I don't have permission to sell that. Still, uh, great profit in this game. Use a sealed men are from Mars, women are from Venus game. Sold this a few times sealed. I don't know why I find it sealed so often. It's not big money at all. You know, I'll probably make about $15 on it come Christmas. Uh, the People will buy these for gifts and stuff on Amazon. Electronic Advanced Battleship, pretty good seller on Amazon, around $45, $50. Bible Trivia, I paid up for this one, but it's in really good condition. Condition. I think it was like $6.99 or something like that. I typically sell those between $35 and $45. So I'll definitely make money on that. It's been a while since I picked up one. Even more board games. This one is, I find crazy as well you know i've seen these kind of things out in the wild these old vintage board games but not in this condition it's in such good condition the pieces inside are and goodwill only priced it 3.99 i'm assuming goodwill probably looked this stuff up and it was like oh this stuff's not worth much and didn't price it high who knows because usually goodwill sees something like this and you're like oh vintage star wars this is we price that a hundred bucks but honestly this stuff is almost worthless it's it's weird no i might be able to get at some point twenty dollars for it on ebay uh, in this condition of course if you find them sealed they're worth a lot more money i'm fine just keeping it i mean i i love the artwork on this i love the condition you're just not going to find that looking that good out in the wild and then you got these vintage electronic talking football and baseball game i found this baseball one recently for 4.99 at a goodwill in the box complete and everything and i said i just like the old box i just wanted to have it and then 
then today I find football and baseball in the box. Maybe new. It's got the styrofoam and everything in there. I figure I might as well get the football one and keep that along with the baseball and sell the other baseball one. Again, these things are not big money. You're selling them for like $10, $15 plus shipping. I mostly bought it because I just love this kind of stuff. And then the final board game I picked up at the rummage sale, this dogfight game. Thought it was going to be pretty cool to pick up. It is. Probably sell that for $50, $60. One of the guys working at the, the church sale said that, that was his when he was a kid. This is a fun game and all the pieces should be there. But it is in good condition for the age. You know, I'll probably... Put it on eBay for about $50 plus shipping. So if I was to add up all of today's board game finds on how much I expect to make, it's going to be great. I picked up this sealed PBS collection here for a dollar at the rummage sale. I figured it might be worth it. Uh, I should be able to sell it for like 50, I think it was 20 bucks new. So not a bad pickup for a dollar. Now below it here is something pretty amazing. This is a Connect 4 amplifier system media control system with the remote now there's another rummage sale i went to and it wasn't great at all but i did manage to pick up this for five dollars and uh this is worth about 350 four hundred dollars uh, especially with the remote i think the remote will sell for forty dollars by itself unfortunately the remote needs a charger which was not there still i'm seeing this thing sell for between 300 and 400 dollars without the remote so just a f phenomenal find for five dollars also the rummage sale for two dollars i picked up these imaginex figures and accessories i saw some of the larger pieces there that probably went with these i just don't have the time and space to be dealing with that stuff they're not huge money anyway the figures are easier to store <laughs> easier to ship um honestly i'll get at least thirty dollars profit out of these maybe more if i have some rare pieces it's quite a bit in there for two dollars it's funny at a rummage sale a couple weeks ago i found two of these exact same ones new sealed uh i sold them for well i haven't sold them yet but uh, they sell on Amazon. I think about $52, $53. Green, I'm um, assuming I paid like $3 for that. So I should make some good profit um, on that as well. Canon ink. Then finally, I just picked up some of these Oral-B toothbrush heads for electric toothbrush. Brand new sealed. Four pack, selling for like 20 bucks. Uh, I got a dollar into them. It also came with a toothbrush that was used i just ended up throwing that away not really worth it i just sell the sealed replacement heads and uh, make some great money on those there it is everybody that is my haul for today some great finds at the rummage sale some rare finds it's unbelievable that i was able to go to that rummage sale and not have one other person there while i was there just crazy to me but if you enjoyed the video please hit that like button for me you can find me on twitter instagram and tiktok flipping underscore junk this has been wick until next time